Oh. Hey guys, it's KNR Husky here. And you go. Wait, restart. Hey guys, it's KNR Husky here. And I am Ken Wolfie. And today I'll be rocking the KSG on Dome, dropping a 50 bomb. I know that it's a red gun, but I'm pretty sure it's good. I hope you guys enjoy it. But we are not going to be looking at the gameplay because we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's start with the team ties, Wolfie. What's the update on that? Working on the second part. It looks pretty good, but uh, yeah. You know, it's just taking a while. There's a lot of clips that go through and stuff. I know a lot of people are uh, awaiting the arrival of this team ties. Yeah. Well, I frankly can't be, uh, I can't wait till it's done so I can do other things. Oh, and then I got a word that I might be getting a capture card soon, so I'll be able to help you out. Uh, with editing and stuff. And, um... Uh, Tyler and I, um, me and KR Foxy, we're planning on doing a, um, a, a dualtage, just me and him, uh, when we get the chance to get clips. And I'm sure you guys are gonna like it. So I'll let Wolfie take over here with some stuff to talk about because I'm running out of things to talk about. Well, didn't you have a whole, uh, topic list? Okay, well, I'll, I'll go off of what you said. Alright, so. This new game, uh, we're about to witness like a second generation of games. It, it, someone, it's like the. Alright, Halo 4 is coming out. Oh. And uh, Black Ops 2 is coming out. Yes. But here's the thing Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1, you either loved it or you hated it. There was really few people who were in between. I loved it for right gunning, sniping, I couldn't really get into. But, uh, and Halo Reach. Halo Reach, I am a diehard Halo fan. I started off on Halo. I started off on Counter Strike, uh, but I moved to Halo for console. And, uh, I, I just didn't like Reach. I, I have it. I got a special limited edition Reach console, but I don't really play Reach. And this Halo 4, the first Halo game, the first mainstream Halo game not to be made by Bungie, it, it's, um, it actually looks exciting. I'm actually excited to see it. Black Ops 2 looks promising, hopefully, and, uh, you know, I don't know what else is coming out, but those are the two main titles for me, at least. Um, I'm gonna, um, I'm really excited for Operation Reactive City that comes out on Tuesday, and I'm really excited for it. Um, I got the, I got one of the very last limited editions you can get in my town. Um, which, uh, from what I hear, are very, very popular around the United States. I think um, that GameStop actually ran out of those pre-orders. That, and um, I'm really excited for September because uh, Borderlands 2 comes out, and that's going to be great because I was a die-hard Borderlands fan. Out of every RPG I ever played, Borderlands was the best just because it was just so funny, and, you know, you could play with four friends and had a good leveling system, had good quests, it actually made sense, and it had some pretty sweet combat. Um, now, there is something I would like to talk to you about, and I want to get some feedback on it, Wolfie, because I really don't like this idea. The next in Infinity Ward technically made Call of Duty, like, you know how they vary between Treyarch and Infinity Ward? After Black Ops 2, I heard a rumor of what the title is going to be. And that, uh, that is going to be Call of Duty Future Soldier. I seriously doubt that is... Yeah, okay, first off, Black Ops 2, made by Treyarch. Infinity, Treyarch has been known since Call of Duty 3. <laughs> like, I still play Call of Duty 3, and they severely hate snipers. I don't know, it's some sort of personal vendetta against snipers. Uh, JD2020, uh, something, I think he is the community manager or something like that. Um, he for some reason perceives sniping as being this small group of people in the Call of Duty community when really sniping is what makes the Call of Duty community large and uh you know Infinity Ward has constantly got the sniper they, they accept the sniper and they embrace the sniper in all their games some may say they make it a little bit too easy now with this new rumor of future soldier is it's pretty much getting uh, rid of basic ammunition of lead bullets, pretty much, and going into a futuristic 
sci-fi shooter, like, picture Halo, but no human weapons, only Covenant weapons. And, um, I don't really perceive Infinity Ward being able to go from a semi-realistic shooter to a complete fantasy-based shooter. Like, I don't perceive how they... One, they would have to be a completely different physics engine, I'm sure. Uh, lasers <laughs> certainly don't affect people the same way as bullets would. And two, I, I don't know that they would have to give humans some sort of shield because one laser should kill you. I I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's just my opinion as to why it's probably not going to happen. It's just too many things that they have to change. And uh, companies like that, they don't, they don't really like change. They know... They try to go for the short, short thing that they know they're going to profit off of. They're not going to risk something as large as Call of Duty and uh, try to do something that really doesn't interest fans. Well, they're getting they're getting to the point, Wolfie. They're getting to the point where they honestly, they're out of ideas. Now, this is the end of the Modern Warfare series, is Modern Warfare 3. There's no more story to continue. So basically, they, they thought, where are they going to go? And with this rumor of Future Soldier, I think it's going to bring a new trilogy, well, probably, probably, don't, don't get me right on this, but it might bring a new set of trilogy or something to the table, and maybe, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. We don't know. All I know is that a lot of Call of Duty fans that are going to see this are going to drop their games immediately and probably go to Halo or some, uh, some other shooter. Uh, speaking of Call of Duty players going to Halo, since MLG season has been cut for Call of Duty, uh, most of the players seem to be going to Halo. And I, I know, I'm not sure if you're supposed to say this or not, but a, I believe now, in 2012, the signing bonus for MLG Halo players is a $200,000 signing contract. So, it's pretty good money. I, I can't blame them for wanting to rush over there. Especially with no season and no in source of income for a lot of them, actually. Uh, besides things like Twitch TV, MLG players don't really capulate on the whole YouTube community because they have to play. Um, and private matches, usually, and on LAN tournaments where they can't record, so... Yeah. Um, back to, back to that point, actually, I was wondering, um, uh, how many, when KN gets really big, I was wondering how many teams are we going to have, because I know we have one right now, and we can't, we can't really do anything because, because of Michaela's account. Uh, you know, I've been doing TV singles a lot, but to be honest, the community for uh, GB and stuff has really changed. It's really the only thing that I really respect now is the MLG community. Kids like Optic Psychosis, um, he's GB, Cinco's, whatever star you want to call him. But uh, what the, what's it become now is calculating, calculating, whatever. Um, taking, he knows he has fans. He knows a lot of those fans aren't good. So what he's been doing is, he's been playing his fans in GB matches. It's... The, he's playing as like the number two ranked player, his former number one ranked player, playing against people who are 0 and 7, 0 and 22, people on 43 loss streaks, and you get experience, you get points, experience, uh, based upon the level of the team you fight, you may only be getting like plus 14 experience, but they're like guaranteed wins. And if you look on the roster, on the leaderboard standings and stuff, it it will say like all of the people's models would be like number two, free, uh, number two gets free wins, like psychosis sucks, and all this stuff because he actually made a video where he's telling people, you want to play me, like, pay five dollars, and we'll play on GB, and so, and that's just, that's why I don't really, uh, respect the Call of Duty community, I was actually going to go for the number one spot on COD 4, I started playing, and I realized, if you're not playing MLG Variant, kids are just using RPGs on shipment, They'll get one kill and they'll run away, which is nothing new, but it's just, it wasn't readily used. People 
enjoyed gun on gun gameplay now it's oh i'm just gonna kill you for an rpg or i'm only gonna get one kill on you i tied seven times in a row on dome just today alone to have the eighth game be he got one kill on me and ran around the whole map uh we're gonna have probably have to extend this video <laughs> <laughs> hang on be right back so you keep on talking all right well on that note, what he's saying, Call of Duty is basically is it's it's broken. I, I think right now I've played Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4, and then I played Red at War, and just witnessing all these Call of Duty games has just just made me think. You know, the farther the series goes, the more broken it's getting because it's getting to the point where when I want to do a serious game. And I get into something like Drop Zone or something, nothing but RPGs, XM25s, GL104s, or whatever whatever those things are called, those little retarded noob tube things. Noob tubes, shotguns, mainly just shotguns. It's it's ridiculous. I, I freaking hate it. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the shotguns, but I hate it when people, like, the whole team is running around with them. It's just ridiculous. And then the guns in MW3, let's use MW3 for example, the guns are so unbalanced, it's uncanny, like, uh, the, the KSG, like, I went 51 and 25 on this game, and that was, that was basically just because it was dome, it was close quarters, that other than that, I'd be getting hit markers all the time, but, you know, other than that, it's just random explosions, it's all, all, all right, it is. I'm back. All right. We should uh, probably start wrapping this up in the next 24 seconds, 20, 20 seconds, 12, like 20 seconds, 29, 28, 27, 26, are we, 25. Are you have you count down like tap? <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, yeah, because it's getting close to the 15 minute mark. So yeah. Well, I think I think we're I think we've said enough to. All right. Restart that. Okay. Well, I think I think we're gonna make another one of these videos on our opinions again pretty soon. But other than that, I think we're done for the day. This is K and R Husky, and this is K and Wolfie signing off. Bye.